Think about what the Lord has done for you. Have you took time out to think about where the Lord brought you from? Have you took the time to just really give God the praise and the honor that he deserves for being the God that he is? He woke you up this morning. He put clothes on our back. He put food on the table for us to eat. He provided us and gave us the strength to work a job. Then you ask, what more do I need? Well, I need to tell the Lord, thank you. Because, Lord, you have brought me a mighty long way. You know, I think about my situation in my life, and I must say it's not bad. God, I must say, is a God that you give all honor and praise to. Praise him when the times are good. Praise him when the times are bad. <coughs> you see, I don't care if you lose everything. Like Job, when he lost everything he had, Job didn't stop praising God. He kept on praising God. It's because Job lost everything, his children, his, his wealth, livestock, everything. He had sores all over his body. Wife, his wife even told him he should curse God and die. But Job didn't do that. Job did like any other man would have done. He kept on praising the Lord. He kept on praising the Lord, thanking the God for what he has done. Amen? Amen? I'm here to tell you it's time to give God praise and honor. Amen. No matter what your circumstances are, your situation it's not over. As long as you have breath in your body, you should praise God at all times. If you don't pray at all times, at least have him on your mind. Amen? Amen? Call on him because he's waiting. All you have to do is put your trust in him. I have seen the Lord at work. He has brought me a mighty long way. Amen? You see, as I must say, uh, for 10 years I lived in a nice home. Air conditioned, central air, heat turned off and on. I'm able to lay there and enjoy the comfort. Amen? But then there comes a time When you have to sometimes give up all the luxuries, amen? Sometimes you have to downsize. And, and in my mind, I was asking, Lord, what am I going to do? I felt like I had lost something, amen? I felt like uh, this could not be happening to me. But I want you to know that God has a plan. God has a plan, and I thank God for that plan. The situation was, I was in, it wasn't a situation every man and woman wanted to be in, but God had a plan. I'm still praising God. I'm still thanking him. Even though in my mind, I feel like I betrayed someone. 
but in my heart, I'm giving praise to God. You see, because I'm still thanking him for what he has done. And I'm hoping that, you know, sometimes when we separate ourselves from situations and issues, we kind of like wonder, well, Lord, what's going to happen to them? What is the situation really going to mount out to? You try to make a projection of what the future is going to bring. But my thing is, keep on praising God. Keep on talking to the Lord, Reinhardt. Keep on, leave it all in his hand because there's nothing else you can do. But I want you to know, my brothers and sisters, he's on the main line. Call him up and tell him what you want. I want you to know that no matter what your situation is, praise God at all times. Praise him when you're up. Praise him when you're down. No son of any man in whom there is no help. His spirit departs and he returns to the earth. You see, we're just like the dust. When this body is gone, it goes back to where it came from. So in the meantime, my brothers and sisters, while you still have breath in your body, give God the praise and the honor that when this time do come that your breath, and you take that last breath, that you will be taken to eternity. Amen? But while I'm here, Rob, my brother, Calvin, my brother, give God the praise. Even when it don't seem like things are going your way. Even seem like sometimes, well, I, Lord, I need a little work. They ain't called me in a couple of weeks, Lord. Don't give up, Rob. Hold on. That phone call is coming. Amen. You see, in his own time, in his own way, give God praise and honor. The weather's changing. The season's changing. Give God the praise. I'm thanking God for what he has done. And I'm thinking that the future is going to be bright. Amen. And I'm praying that the Lord continue to bless me because some people may say it's not a blessing. I say it's a blessing. God is continuing to bless us in all kinds of ways. It's good to have the nice brick home. And it's good to be in a home, amen? But no matter what, still give God the praise. I'm still in a brick building. Lord, I just want you to know I thank you, Jesus, for what you have done. I thank you for the outcome, we give you praise and honor. You ask for strength, Lord, that we can continue fighting this fight. That we continue walking the walk, Lord. We can continue, Heavenly Father, looking to you for all our strength comes from. You see, Lord, don't let me forget to, to give you praise and honor. Lord, when it seems like things are going good, Lord, Still touch me. Still keep my mind focused on you. Amen? Seems like a lot of people, when things are going good, they get uh, maybe a tax return, or uh, they bless, they win a ticket or something, or uh, they get a new car. Seems like they just forget all about God. I come to tell you, sometimes little things matter. 
Sometimes God will give you a little situation to get your focus back. But I want you to know, God, I thank you. Lord, I'm thanking you for everything you've done for me. And I'm asking you, Lord, to give me the strength to keep my mind focused on you. Amen? Lord, help us to continue to put our trust in you, not in man. To continue calling on you, Lord, no matter what. Lord, the time has went back. So, Lord, I'm just asking you, bless me. Let me be able to adjust to it. Wake up in time for work. Amen? Because I tell you, this time adjustment, <laughs> it really does something to you. Let us stand. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you that your word did not go back out void. Lord, we ask that you let us praise you at all times. In other words, Lord, when times are good and when times are bad, Lord, we will still give you honor and praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs>